This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Dozier versus Guilford. You all have known each other for 20 years and you're living together, but today may be the last day of this relationship depending on what happens in this courtroom today. Am I right, Ms. Dozier? Yes, Your Honor. Uh-oh. Right. Now, you've initiated this case today. Tell us why. Um, me and Kamal, you know, we've been knowing each other for over 20 years. Um, in this incident, Kamal has a problem with social media. He loves to reach out to women. Mm. I want to say for booty. And... That's <laughs> lying. <laughs> he just have a... <laughs> he just have a problem with social media. Any phone that he has, he either going to the laundromat or the library. Anything that has Wi-Fi, he with it. That's just what he do. He just love reaching out to women on Facebook and just trying to make them feel all, you know, like he can be their man or whatever. Mr. Guilford, I, mean, I, think, I think we're all about free Wi-Fi, but she says you're using free Wi-Fi for some bad purposes. No, sir. I'm here to clear my name. I be flirting and stuff like that. I'm just here to clear my name and let her know I'm not cheating with you. I never slept with none of these women that I talked to on Facebook. I never did. Okay, so you're on Facebook, you see a little picture, a little short, short, little... The booty. You know, all that. You, you click your <laughs> no. like, right? No, it's, it's yeah. not like that. It's not like that. All right. Well, I gotta think that you all... You said you all known each other for 20 years and reconnected. That's correct. How do you feel? Can you share with us knowing and believing that he's cheating on you? <sighs> How do I feel? Kamal... Okay, I'll say it like this. One day, he wanted something to drink. We was together. He was like, babe, pick me up a Gatorade. I said, okay, cool. So I dropped him off at the house or whatever. So I like to look for change when I make, make a stop or whatever. So when I make a stop, I'm looking in my car and I go on the passenger side. I'm like, well, what is this? This look like Kamal's cell phone. So I'm going through it. And was it his phone? It was his phone, because I believe he was looking for it, and he wore jogging pants. And I tell him, you need to stop wearing jogging pants because you lose things. So, so you're like... on your way to the store. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my way to the store. And you find his phone. Right. What'd you find? Oh, Lord. I seen... I seen messages, then I see a female friend, you know, texting or whatever. And I know his text, because he was like, well, I want to uh, see you. My homeboy got drunk, and my uncle brought the phone, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what is this? Mm. And you submitted that to the court. No, I do not. She... I will. I can walk over here okay. to the monitor. Right. Would you step to the uh, screen and let us know what you found? I will. <laughs> she stole the phone. No, she... I didn't. You lost she the phone, the phone. She, she, she stole the phone. She... Okay, she as phone. you can see, February the 3rd, come out. I'm gonna read out the text. It said, I know you mad. I didn't call because I lost this phone last night and my uncle just brought it. All right, and that's 7, 19 a.m. Yeah, this is in the morning. He ought to be in the bed with me. He texting and going went, on. And the Texans go on. We um, right here, it says, so you mad, didn't want to answer. This is at 7, 30 I would think that after the first text message, you would just stop texting. He being thirsty now. Nah. He ain't getting no response. <laughs> he being thirsty. This is 7, 38 And I get some more texts. Hello, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream? <laughs> so we like vanilla ice cream now? Oh, man, this is at 9.05 a.m. He's still being thirsty. So is that your nickname for her, vanilla ice cream? That's bad, but at the time... No, no. no. Is that your nickname no. for her? It was at the time. That's the nickname he gave her, vanilla ice cream. I All should right. get vanilla ice cream. All right. And then he had some old Texas. This right here is at 8, 12 p.m., so it's like that. So it's like that? I mean, like, why you still being thirsty? You didn't get so a response. Right. So he's being thirsty for a vanilla he milkshake. Be, yeah, he being thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as you can see, no. I'll be for him. Uh, as you can see, he is very oh. handsome. Why you got to keep texting? As you see, he's thirsty. This is at 8, 12 p.m. This is at night this, now. This is at the end of the day. He's still going after her. Did she finally respond? Oh, like, sorry, boo, I'm busy. And I'm wondering, like, okay, this is where to draw the line, you know what I'm saying, for us. Him texting, she responded, I don't know if he slept with her or not. He ain't had no business texting anyway, you know, so. So why she calling him boo? That's what I'm talking about, because if it wasn't nothing like that, it, it like wouldn't have been no boo. It would have been, um, what you texting me for? Especially at that time anyway. It wasn't nothing like that. So, it Mr. Was... Guilford, that, that's an uh, interesting question. Yeah, why is this person... Story. Why is this person calling you boo? You keep saying it wasn't like that, it wasn't oh, like that. Boo. It was like that because she's calling you no. boo. 
Yeah, it wasn't. I guess she was liking what I was saying. Oh, but... he a real good talker, huh? Now you I guess she was just coming saying, I was gonna never sleep with her or nothing. It was just... No, no interest in her no interest. whatsoever. She's white. I don't, I don't date white women. She's white. <laughs> I like black women. She's white. I don't date white women. He lied. That's why I picked her. He lied. Because... I've never been well, with a no white woman. Mr. Guilford? I like my black women. Mr. Guilford, your girlfriend submitted a text from the next day. Yeah, it was... And let's take a look at going that. Going on and on. And it says, I was going to come yesterday, but you never responded. Oh. But I wasn't going there. Yeah, I was that's just when telling he went that. his home, boy, when they was, home was supposed was to... He supposed to have went out of town or whatever. Truthful. I wasn't Hold going. Up. I just let... I was just having... Are her. you really trying to tell this court I was just telling her that I, yeah, I, I wasn't was going to do that? Her. Yes. Nah. White women don't turn me on, period. Oh, okay, but well, why are you come... texting her and making her think she turned you off? Because I was just... Because I was just... Just doing but... stuff. Okay, so, yeah, so the on, bottom hold line on, is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. Tell them, Judge. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that is wrong on a whole bunch of counts. And she's doing something for time. you, and you doing something for somebody else. That don't make no sense. Mm-mm, so don't. And, Mr. Guilford, here's the bottom line for me at this point. You wrote her and said, I was going to come yesterday, but you never responded. You're saying you didn't mean that. You were just lying to this woman. I was. So, if you're just lying to her, how do we know that you aren't lying to us? How can we believe you at this point? That's what I'm no, talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I took a lot of... Consent, your lot your of best consent, bet, you, know. you need to take care of the ice cream you got. That's, That's your best right. bet. That's right. Incidences that make you think that Mr. Guilford is cheating. Yes, I do. Uh, All right. He is a character, but I love him. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> the laundromat. She always searches. The laundromat. Okay. okay, we back at the laundromat <laughs> with love, three wives. You know what? Since he loved the laundromat so much, I just start being there with. We gonna sit together. <laughs> We were sitting in the car. <laughs> we were sitting in the car, and he had a phone call that came through on his Wi-Fi. He said, let me step out of the car. I need him to take this car. I was like, OK. Let you do your thing, honey. So when he got out the car, I sat there, and I'm looking at his face like, who is he talking to? Right. He got back in the car. Oh, my homeboy finna compete me. I'm like, OK. When I tell you from 3.45 to 11, almost 12 o'clock, I was sitting there waiting on him. No text message. 3.45 in the afternoon to midnight? Yes, ma'am. It was 11.45 going on 12 o'clock. I went to work the next day. I said, you know what? I ain't studying this. Whatever. You still ain't heard from him the next day? This the thing. While I was at work, I get a phone call. I'm like, who is this? This Camille. I said, somebody playing tricks. I said, who is this? Baby, this me. Come get me. I said, come get you from where I'm in the woods. In the woods? (laughs) Call me from the woods. Anyway. I, I just figured he'd be at the ice cream shop. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cutler. I said, no, nah, something ain't right about this. The woods? Who waking up in the woods? So did you go get him? Mm-mm. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. Why was he in the woods? He said he got kidnapped. She don't believe it. Every kidnapped. Day. He said that now. It's true. Oh, Mr. Gilford, what happened? It was a white van pulled up. It's like three dudes. Haitian with dread, long dread. I all see this dude <laughs> leaning his head out the dread. He asked me uh, where he can get some drugs. I was like, I don't sell drugs or nothing like that. Uh, so as I was finna turn around, all I see is a rag come on my face. All, you telling me? And I woke up. <laughs> when I woke up, that was in the woods. Wait a minute. You telling me a white bag pulls up, yeah. asks you about drugs. Yeah. You say, I ain't selling drugs. Next to you, and they all the people got dreads, mm, right? Yeah. And they yeah. grab you and kidnap you. Yeah, that's true. Are, are you sure you're not the actor from that show, Empire? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> that, that sounds... Oh, yeah. <laughs> he on the couch, he's putting on the couch. Oh, he's putting on the couch. He's putting on. No, wait. This happened for real. This happened for real. All right, so we got a, a very she interesting know something wrong. kidnapping story. Oh, yeah. Do you have any, do you have any other kidnapped. reason to believe no that he's cheating? Yes, I do. Um, it was an incident. Yeah, we got story for days, y'all. <laughs> it was a... It was an incident. <laughs> it was an incident where I was washing clothes 
come out. You know, I am the type of person, you know, when you washing pants, you like to dump stuff out. So I ain't dumping, you know, pennies, whatever. It's this credit card that comes out of his pocket. Now, the type of brother he is, what you doing with a credit card? <laughs> you ain't got no money. You make ends meet with what you can. Okay. So I knew the individual that was on the credit card. She reached out to me. She called me. She said, um, hey, what's up? I was like, what's going on? Um, I just said, I, I asked her, I said, do you know Kamal? She was like, yeah, I know him. I said, oh, you do? I said, how did y'all meet? Oh, he reached out to Facebook. Oh. No, okay, how did he explain no, having her credit card? No, okay. That ain't true. I said, I found the credit card in your pocket. Who is it? Oh, it's just somebody that I know. She let me buy some cigar because he smokes. And that's what he told me. And I'm wondering, like, who is this woman? I know it. Okay, okay. Like, all right. That's a lie. You, what you woman know? gave you... This what is... person gives you a credit card to buy some cigar Ooh. cigars? <laughs> yeah, Look, tell that. Let me tell that. You know a lot. That's a lie about the, about the Facebook. I didn't ask you about that. I'm I, asking you about this credit I, card. I, I, work at a, I work at a car wash. The lady come up there every Friday to get a, a car wash. She wanted to be with me. Who, this woman said she wanted to be with you? Yeah, she wanted to be with me. I huh. said, I have an old lady that I love very she much. Never, uh, she oh, said she never, mentioned, she never mentioned me to her. I, this, never... I didn't know y'all was together. All right. I know, Mr. Guilford, you must think we crazy up here, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I ain't <laughs> You got text messages from a female friend. You went missing when you were allegedly kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> and then we found a credit card in your pocket yes. from a woman that your girlfriend knew, and she gave you the credit card oh. to go buy a cigar. She While said, you washed her car. Yeah, no. And so Miss Doja says if anyway. you're guilty of cheating, she's moving on with her life. She's done. That is correct. All right. So to figure out what's going on, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call licensed polygraph examiner Kendall Shull to determine is he cheating? Yeah. Ron, would you please bring Mr. Shull in? Yeah. All right. Uh, Mr. Shaw, would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Uh, I was uh, forced enough to live a lifetime dream that I had of being an FBI agent. I spent almost 30 years in Washington, D.C. When I retired, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. Wow. You asked Mr. Guilford, since getting back together with Ms. Dozier, have you had sexual intercourse with the woman Ms. Dozier found you texting? What was his response? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. Well, that's the first one. That's the first one. <laughs> you asked Mr. Guilford, have you had physical sexual contact with a woman whose credit card Ms. Dozier found in your pocket? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Mr. Guilford, this woman whose credit card you had, you had sexual contact with her, didn't you? Yeah, I had, she, she gave me um, all six. You what? Didn't believe, remember I, I told didn't, you? No, I did. you didn't. I asked you, I said, ma'am. Did you or did you not sleep with her or have anything to do? You said, no, baby, I didn't sleep with her. I told you about that. <laughs> you Mr. Mr. Guilford, you know, I, I, I got to think, if you had told Ms. Dozier about that, she, she ain't going to forget nothing. She ain't going to forget that. <laughs> she ain't going to forget tell nothing. Her. I ain't tell yeah, you. Was, yeah. <laughs> What's not likely to happen is for her to stand here and say, oh, yeah, you did tell he me did. some other he one was on no, you. I completely forgot me. about that. That's not gonna happen, Mr. Guilford. Five months, can't have sex with him or nothing like that. What, what, what you gonna do? Five months, I can't touch you. I'm laying beside you. If you with your woman, she had, well, y'all weren't married or nothing like that. You sleep beside <laughs> her five months, you can't touch her or nothing like that. Mm, well, if you, I feel dirty. If you, I'm if you, like God. If you accusing somebody all the time, they ain't doing. You doing you stuff? Accusing. I wasn't. <laughs> At first, first, I wasn't what? until she was accusing me. No. So you I, said... Oh, oh, he's pulling them all out. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean we got, he's going down the list. She wasn't, so I had to. Yeah. 
She, she accused she me, me first. So, so I went on and did it. Yeah. She told me to really? go do it. She, she done told me to have something. You know what? Okay. Like Miss Dozier, Miss Dozier, you came here for answers. I did. You have gotten those answers. Correct. I am sorry that it was the way it came out. It's okay. But you now have been set free because that's what the truth will do for you. It will. Mr. Guilford, you blew it. Wait you blew nine it. hours for you. Ugh! So now you now you've got what you want. You're free to go to the laundromat as much as you want I'm and spend as much time as you want there. You know, and you can You can be on social media. You can be on social media and you can have all the vanilla ice cream you want. That's right. And guess what? You'll be doing your laundry by yourself. You all have been in a relationship for two years, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Sean. But the but the interesting thing is, you all reconnected after twenty years. Yes. Is that correct? <laughs> all right. Tell me, Miss Brooks, why you have brought your boyfriend here? Well, Your Honor, I moved my family clear across the United States to come be with him after twenty years, and I believe he's cheating on me. Miss Edwards, what do you hope to prove in court today? I want to be with her, spend the rest of my life with her, and I'm, I'm trying to make this work. And what do you hope to prove to her today well, about her allegations? That I love her and I'm not cheating on her. Ms. Brooks, if he is cheating, what does that mean? Well, my stuff already packed. I'm ready to go back. If he wants to get married next month, the house is picked out. So <laughs> I packed my stuff up when he told me he ready for me to come back weeks ago. But I needed to know this before I go back because I already looked stupid once. Okay. There's a lot of drama going on here, but you all have known each other for 20. 20-some years. Yes. Let's go back to when you first met. I met her through uh, my cousin. It was my best friend. I was kind of shy at the time, so I would never really say nothing, but I would make my way to be around her. All right, did all right. you see that little smile, Mr. Cutler? Look. I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, how long were you all together at that time? Through the whole teenage years. And at some point, you went your separate ways. Yeah, how did you lose touch? Her mother moved her to Detroit. And she oh. So when you reconnected, what was that like? That was good, right? That was one... I, yes. It caught me off guard. Okay. <laughs> and what was good about it when you reconnected? He sent a message on Facebook. And I'm sending him a message back like, is this you? Really you? He's like, yeah. I said, call me on the break. And he called me in that voice, Lord. <laughs> and, and so when you get... When you got back together, the, the yeah. things you liked about him before were the same things you liked about him when you reconnected? Oh, it came back in me. Oh, through the phone. Did All you right, so what were, some of those, what were some of those huh? things? What did you like about him? That voice, I'm telling you. The voice. <laughs> you heard this man voice? Like, I mean, <laughs> not everybody got a voice like that. All right. All right, so did you, let me just ask you this. Did you have butterflies when he was like, yeah, it's me? Girl, I started crying. I was All crying right. at All work. Right. Well, wait a minute. Let me hear how that sounds when you talk to her the first time. Let me hear it for myself. Hey, baby. Oh, all right, yeah. you win, you win. <laughs> you put that velvet on her, I ain't mad. Okay, so you reconnected. Yes. When did you finally see each other after that? Like two weeks later after contacting her through Facebook. I said, okay. I'm coming, yeah. his birthday is Christmas. I, yeah. I couldn't make it for Christmas, but I was driving. Yeah. I drove 30 hours. <laughs> you drove 30, 30 hours 30 to see hours him? 30 hours to come and see him, I needed During the to holiday? Him. During the holiday, we, I came wow. to him, I made it to him New Year's Eve. It was a blizzard in El Paso when I drove through. I was on the um, highway for six hours. Me and the kids, but thank God I had a TV in the car. But we, <laughs> six hours, stand still. So what did you think when you put your eyes on her? Because she's beautiful. What did you think? She looked the same as when I first seen her. So we went to my mother's house. You know, at okay. this time, my mother was sick and was going oh. back and forth for, like, treatment and stuff like that. And um, when she seen her, she immediately knew who she was and put a big smile on my mother's face I hadn't seen in a while. Yeah, and I didn't me. know his mother's condition. He did not tell me nothing, so it, oh. it kind of hurt, you know, because I... Broke your heart to see his mother that way? Broke my heart to see him that way, because he bottled it up. Okay. I had just lost my dad in 2014, so this was 2015 that I met with him, and he didn't tell me that his mom was sick. It's just, it, all of that came back. All right, so you all reconnect. It is a beautiful thing. What happened? <sighs> Three months in, I'm get, I'm seeing texts and women coming by the house, the ex coming over uh-huh. there. Just it's just a lot of drama started immediately. The girls didn't want to see me there. So this is after you move across yeah. country. Yep, I moved you... out of six bedroom, four bathroom house to a two bedroom, one bath house. Okay, wait. 
You moved across the country. Packed my stuff up in the storage and came to them. And then you find texts from other women. What else did you find? Like, I've seen text messages I got in the car. One time he left his phone in my car. I'm sitting on the car taking the kids to school and it's buzzing, ding, ding, ding. He left his messenger open on Facebook. He's, he's, he's going back and forth with four girls all at once. Oh. <laughs> I have something to say, Your Honor. Yes, sir. I need the, to hear the, something. The, 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 the me entertain other women. We live in Missouri. She would take her kids. They're supposed to drop them off to the kids' um, grandparents. Yeah. And she would go over there, lose signal, lose service. There's no service in that town. And it's and, an hour and 15 stay, minutes we'll stay, away. We'll stay all night, come in the next morning, I don't know what she been doing. Their grandmother is like a mother to me. I don't have my mother or my father. She's spending That's the who night. I spend the time with. There's spending nobody the there but the grandmother. She's spending the night. He doesn't night. like that. Did you know that she was going to spend the night? No. Every did time you she... tell him you no. were going to spend the night? Sometimes I didn't because I wasn't about to argue with him. He talking to other females. What I need to tell you something The females for? come after this. No, the females okay. been. He blatantly said he's spiteful. If he feel like I'm spending too much time with my kids' grandparents, then he's going to be spiteful. Do you have proof that he's actually been unfaithful? I just got proof. I got a text message that I took a screenshot of of him going back and forth with one of his coworkers. Ron, would you please get that yes, document, please? Thank you, ma'am. You're on. All right. Thank you. Okay, so let me read this. It says, I seen you going in the office, what shift? Then there's a response that says, what? None, wanted a hug, but okay, good night. Call me real quick. Never mind, going to the house. Don't want to get busted again. I mean it. That right there, that went on after the fact that she made me feel some type of way. Like, before she moved here, before mm -hmm. she came to where I was at, my, yeah. we would talk all the time on the phone when she was living in Vegas, and all our conversation was, was about me and her. She made me think that we, like, Bonnie and Clyde and just me and her, she don't have nobody but me. And she gets here, stuff starts changing. That wasn't it, Your Honor. Two weeks before I moved there, my children's grandfather passed away. Okay. I'm not gonna not go to this man's funeral. He's been my life for my, my entire life. The issue wasn't okay. with the, the issue. But he wasn't doesn't with want the me around any other male unless it's him. I don't care if, if if I had an ex or anything. If he feel like I'm spending too much time with my kids' grandparents, then he's gonna be spiteful. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you it's did selfish. these things out of spite. He said that. He's yes, very true. selfish. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can't build a relationship on being spiteful. Why can you build a relationship? Well, letting, letting your significant other like I'm, I'm going here and I'm gonna be here. She's leaving here to drop the kids off and you not returning. This, this more than one occasion. Okay, this, but your so ex is daddy this... coming over there telling me y'all messing around. You still okay, with her? Is that another incident? This ex is asking him for sex in text messages. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, okay, oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Mr. Edward, your ex yes. is asking you for sex. Yes, and I show her though. Oh, look, you show, I showed he her showed like... it to me, and then I called her myself. What did you say? I said, why are you sending him text messages ask, begging for sex? Who does that? That ain't no woman. And what did she respond? And she said that she laughed. And she said, um, what did he say? I don't have to tell you nothing. <laughs> Mr. Edwards, so your ex is trying to break you sex... all up. Yeah, the last time I had sex with her, it's, it's, it'll be two years. Do you believe that, Miss Brooks? Ex, no. You oh. believe he's having sex with somebody I else? I believe he's doing something. What other evidence do you have that he's doing something? Just the females coming by the house and, and the okay. text messaging. This, okay, this, wait, hold on. All right, this, so you're at the house that you I'm all... at the house while he's at work. Okay, women are coming by the house. Yes. They, wow, what do they say? They ring the doorbell, knock the door on the door, oh. and they say what? Oh, so you're his girlfriend. I just want to come see who you were. I, I just want to come see door how door. you look oh, no. like. You causing a disruption between everybody. And I'm like, how am I causing a disruption? Because he's still messing with me, and he still has other women. Like, you're not the only woman. And then another girl I've never seen in my life before, she just came over there and said, well, you need to leave because um, it's going to get real messy. Why? Why are you okay. here? So you get all this information. Yes. What do you do with it? I pack my stuff up and slowly but surely put it in a little local storage, a little stuff that I did have there, packed it up, and then one day while he was at work, I left. She did that twice, young. You never talked to him about it? No. No, why? Why? He's not caring about my feelings. Why do I need to let you know that I'm leaving? I told you before, don't play with me. I came too far for this. 
I'm paying over $300 a month for 10 months for storage to keep my stuff there that I moved here for him. You know what I'm saying? We could have been had my stuff there. We could have been living life. I got the house picked out, picked out the same replica house that I had there in the town he live in, but I'm not gonna move in it. So my stuff is still out there on the West Coast, 300 something dollars a month. And it's been how long since you've had your items in storage? 10 months. 10 months. So that comes to $3,087? Yes, ma'am. He said he had my back and I had his. And you got here and had everybody else back? No, I had and you back. second. Your Honor, listen, 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 but you in a relationship with somebody, you don't go somewhere else and stay out all night and not tell that person. Cause she do you like that, not return? Well... Can I do that? No, you can't do that. <laughs> Just exactly. Oh, and, and can I do that? No. All right. All right. <laughs> and, so... And, and my actions was reactions to her actions. You don't go with no I, other I'm female. I'm for my so, own actions. No, that's she's trifling. Not, she, she's painting a picture uh, of an angel. So every time that I go or something happens and some a family member dies, my aunt's sick right now. God forbid she ain't dead when I get there. And you gonna tell me that because I don't... I take you home and I go back to Arkansas, you gonna have a problem with that? Because that's no, what you no own. With Anything that, Arkansas has to do with, with an ex. Com- how, how do you, don't you communicate okay. in a relationship? There, Let me there, there, is, there is so much passion in this relationship. I break my neck for him, Your Honor. Okay. But for your me, Honor, when it's but about here, him, here, I here, think let, let he won't speak. come for me. Let me speak. But when there's this much passion and it's misdirected... Yes. It's going to cause you to be right here where you are. Exactly. But, I can tell you love each other. You have had a long, slow burn love all this time. But the real deal is that's not enough to sustain a relationship. Right. And you, there's no trust here. So that's going to be a problem. It is. And it's not enough to just keep pointing, well, I did this because you said that and I did that because you did this. Y'all, that's not going to work. When she was out there, everything was about us communicating. As soon as she got out here, communication, it, it got different. But your behavior has been spiteful. You're texting other women. You are... You have women coming by the house. I mean, those kinds of things... This same ex would call her and she wouldn't even answer the phone. I understand that. But I'm talking about your behavior. And your behavior in response to her taking care of her family, that's just spite. And you're using it as an excuse. Well, what about her answering... He called... What about the ex calling him him. and and she's not answering the phone? Mr. Edwards... If you talking about communication, the conversation should be something like this. Honey, I don't like you going to Arkansas, but I understand you got business. You got a family you taking care of. But here's what I need from you. I need you to text me, call me, send up a flare, something to tell me you coming back home, you're there safely, but deciding she didn't call me, so I'm gonna do a booty call is not appropriate. So, let me just say to you, it is not acceptable, even taking care of your kids, mm-hmm. to disappear and not call him. You take the high road. You don't go low because he went low. Because mm-hmm. then he can't stand here and tell me about what you did. Right. So, what you do is you do the right thing. The right thing is always right. To get to the bottom of this, the court has engaged the services of a licensed private investigator. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Todd Redding into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Redding? Mr. Redding, as part of the investigation for this case, what did you do? Your Honor, I have uh, several polygraph examiners that are certified we performed a polygraph on Mr. Edwards, and I'm here to report their findings. All right. Mr. Edwards was asked, from August 2016 through June 2017, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than Miss Brooks? What was his response? What was his response? Mr. Edwards' response was yes. So he confessed. Yes, Your Honor. Who did you have a sexual encounter with? I, I, I can't say the name of her. I would, I would tell her, but I'm not going to say it here. Is she a co-worker? But, no, not a co-worker. Is she a friend? But you're, but you're admitting friend. that you it's cheated. A, in March, when she left. When I came home and everything on her side of the room was gone, the, the TV, the limp, and me reaching out to her, can't get a hold of her, it was a situation that occurred then. 
And you have not moved back with him since March, have you? I have a key. I go back every other mm. week. All he talk about is we're going to get married and that we're going leaving and going this, to Florida in August. Your Honor, it happened and I felt bad about it. And so it, it, wasn't even, it, it wasn't even a thing that continued. I, didn't, I wasn't going to tell you. I let her in different ways know. I, I brought this up to you. But, Mr. Edwards, why did she have to find out for the first time in court today? Mm-hmm. Well, I tried to tell her. I didn't want to lose her. Especially like... I, I, you know what? The truth will hurt for a little bit, but a lie will hurt forever. Yeah. Mr. Edwards, is there anything that you would like to say to Ms. Brooks? I'm sorry. I apologize. And I hate that I hurt you. And I understand you feeling like how you feel. And I apologize for that. All right. Ms. Brooks, are you done? Yeah. You're done? Yes. It's nothing to say. Nothing to say. M- Mr. Edwards, uh, you lost a good woman. Yeah, I understand that. There are not very many women who would just pick up their life mm-hmm. and travel halfway across the country. Mm-hmm. Not only have you lost her as a lover, you've lost her as a friend. She's been your friend for the last 20 years. Mm-hmm. And you have completely lost that. 